we sitting down here with Elder, rapper out of Maryland, representing Carol F. You got an EP coming out, 10,000 hours and counting, man. Talk to me a little bit about that. What's the concept behind it, like your creative process behind that joint? Uh, well, the concept around the tape is pretty much Malcolm Gladwell. You know what I'm saying? Um, he developed the whole 10,000 hour theory. And really the concept is, um, well, he was talking about how it takes 10,000 hours to master your craft. So I just feel like with all this work I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? As I'm learning, as I'm growing, I'm just, I'm mastering my craft as I'm going along. So I kind of picked that title. You know, the creative process, really it was, I just pretty much threw that thing together. It wasn't too much that went into uh, creating it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Drop Vent yesterday, man. Talk to me a little bit about your experience creating that joint and what made you choose Vent to be your first your first video off the EP. Actually, Vent's not going to be on the EP. It's but, not on um, the EP. No, nah, no, nah, it's not going to be on the EP. But I picked Vent because I just had a lot to say on that track, man. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, man, exactly. And I actually shot that video around my way on Carol Live. Um, it was a great experience, man. Uh, we shot it in one day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty much dope. We shot in two days, actually. Two days. We shot it. We shot the first scene at night. You know what I'm saying? And then the next scene during the day. And uh, it was, it was, it was pretty cool, man. I, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. That joint is dope. Yeah, man. thank you. I appreciate dope. it, man. I appreciate it. How did you get into the music industry, man? A lot of people got their own stories. I'm wondering how Elder got into the music. How you start writing? What, it, what inspired you to, to become a rapper? Uh, I mean, I, I was always writing raps, you know what I'm saying? Even in middle school, I was freestyling, doing all that type of shit. But I just, I took it serious probably around like uh, 16, 17. I was actually writing songs and books and shit, yeah. walking around my hood and shit, just with the notebook, always on me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I actually got kind of good, you know, a couple of niggas told me to stay with it, so I did. And you know what I'm saying? The rest of history. Mm -hmm. The music industry is real competitive, man. You know that. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you persistent? Keep chasing your dreams. Life. Yeah. My friends. Everybody that's around me. I'm learning from everybody. Everyday conversations. Every single conversation, I take something from it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I just learn from everything. But the biggest thing that probably keeps me motivated, man, is definitely the people who, who surround me every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. So we got all these these artists out here, man, to name a few, Drake, Kanye, Kendrick Lamar, Jay-Z. Who would be your favorite artist to work with right now on a project? Damn. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But um, probably Erica Badu, man. Erica Badu. Yeah, I really. I ain't wanna... see that coming. Yeah, no bullshit, <laughs> man. No bullshit. I just, I really, everything she stands for, her whole vibe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every, her Spirit. music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely Erica Badu. Right? That's what's up. Yeah. That's the an answer. I'm work with I've you never heard before. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up, man. Erica Badu, you yeah. out there? Yeah. All right, man. That's Elder for y'all. Elder three hundred one. Follow his music SoundCloud backslash Elder three hundred one. Elder, you want to spit a couple verse for us real quick? Couple bars? The devil hate me, and I know it still I try to send A positive message for the innocent, pray he can ascend Reflecting the methods God took to learn the lesson uh, My niggas sipping probably cause they still stressing They keep the still by the dresser or under the clothes that they dressed in Another homicide the news reported just in Homie say I got it and I know it, I just gotta show him And every since at all my shows I've been fucking flowing Last of a dime breed, cause I'm actually honest. Soul never on sale for no flashy diamonds. You ain't got enough bread to purchase my essence. Plus, what's a rapper's check compared to our economy's debt? Watch me get them. Look, they sound stupid when they talk that. But fuck them, I'ma do me. Gotta hit them where they hearts at. Same little nigga from high school that used to skip class. Now I spit them type of raps that make these niggas look trash. Law of attraction, roll some weed in the backwood. Putting my niggas on the map, care lab niggas rap good. I've been on some other shit, but now I'm back on my shit. I'm on a mission, not concerned with making no freshman list. Fuck a hit, I'd rather make a track that unloads the clip. The youth is the future, and the future is now. That's real shit. I'm looking forward to them late nights. Just me and Chuki in the stew recording and taking flight until I make it right. 
No, I'm real, ain't gotta prove shit to these niggas. Every word is like a bullet. I'm a clip to these niggas. Maryland ain't never seen a nigga conscious and spitting. Ignore my religion. That's just the way they control the system. Elder. I'm from Care Lab where they expecting me to fail. Boxing with the devil, he getting saved by the bell. And I'd rather be a rebel than live my life in a cell. Plus, I know the federals would rather see me in that jail. So, hell, I give them bars like a life sentence. That's why I step.